shows, some characters, some movies, and some villains. Number one, friends. I don't know why these get placed in the positions they do. I've never watched Friends. I'm guessing it's good because it went for an enormous amount of time, but I'm going to have to put it at four. I might regret that, but we'll put it at four. True Detective, the first season is apparently good. I haven't watched it. I don't really care for it. And to be honest, I probably like Friends more than True Detective. I'm tempted to put it at five, but... I think we need to leave some room. The Last Kingdom. You know what? I'm okay with this at two. Nothing's... I don't know what money heist is, so that has to go at five. Peaky Blinders at number one. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, actually, you know what? I would maybe switch True Detective and Friends, but that's it. Those are the only ones I think I would actually switch. All right, let's do one more. Curious about the Squid Game. Also never seen it. Uh, apparently it's good. I'll put it at three, though. Supernatural, number one. Easy, easy number one. Breaking Bad, I don't care. Number four. Dexter, ooh, better than those other two. I've actually seen it. And then Peaky Blinders at five. Supernatural, number one. Absolutely yes. No question. All right, now let's rank some movies. The Green Mile. I really like it. It's not as good as The Shawshank Redemption, but it is really good. Ah, and this is strong. I put it at two. Harry Potter series. I don't love the movies. They're very much all over the place. The whole series, though. We'd have to put it at three. I can't put it at number one. Seven. It's not a number one. It's not a number one. I can't put it there, but it's very good. I'm going to put it at four. I would like that to be up higher, but I'm okay with it. The Dark Knight Rises. Rises is, is, is the roughest, but oh, so far, I actually, I might, I'm going to have to put it at number one. Interstellar. Ugh. That's better. It's better than Dark Knight Rises, for sure. The Green Mile should be on... The Green Mile should be number one. Then Interstellar, then Dark Knight Rises. Then Seven, then Harry Potter series. Harry Potter series should be on the bottom. It's unfortunate. Let's try it again. Shawshank Redemption. That's an easy number one for me. The Prestige. It's good. But let's leave a little bit of room. Wolf of Wall Street. That is also going to be a four for me. Toy Story. The original. I think they've surpassed it with their sequels. As of right now. But it's definitely better. I'll go for number two. And the Harry Potter series. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that list. Alright. Let's rank some. Let's double check here. All right, let's rank superheroes. Not the movie. This is the actual hero themselves. Wonder Woman. Honestly, never really spoke to me as a superhero. I know there have been a lot of attempts to really put her front and center and make her more interesting in the comic books and in honest the shows and all that kind of stuff but she's just never really broken out for me so I mean I'm, she doesn't belong at four she does not belong at four but she's I yeah I think she's got to be a three Batman definitely put Batman at two Batwoman she can go to five easy Wolverine safe at number one but if Superman shows up we're gonna be 
Wait, we're gonna have to roll the dice. Deadpool. No. Deadpool. The movies. Okay, but the 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 superhero itself. No. No. Deadpool. Yeah. Pop him at four and then move everything up one. I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Let's go. One more. Black Widow. She doesn't deserve to be at five. She's more interesting than that. But I think I think a four is probably about correct. Scarlet Witch, I'm actually, yeah, you know what? Her at three is correct. Daredevil. I'm not the biggest fan of Daredevil. I know everyone's favorite, like all the writers' favorite is Daredevil. Everyone wants to write Daredevil. I'm okay with putting him at number two. I can't put him at number one. I can't do it. Deadpool, I'm going to put you at five. And then Wolverine, you know what? Wolverine above Daredevil? Yes, I'm okay with that. I have no problem with that at all. I'm actually okay with this list. Yeah. You know what? I'm totally fine with it. This is correct. This is actually correct. Let's do another one. I actually like this. Black Widow at four. That was safe last time. Spider-Man at number two. I think we can put him at number one and be pretty happy. Shazam. Com comic Shazam is good. The movie was bad. But we're working with the hero himself. I think he's good, but he's not. He's not number two. Doctor Strange. I actually, you know, I like Doctor Strange more than Shazam. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Captain America at five. That's a bit of a disappointment, but it's okay. One more. Wonder Woman. We regretted putting her at three last time, but I do think that is the correct. Hulk. You know what? He's just strong. Like, I, I know he's not. Like, there have been a thousand different, you know, move-throughs where he's become, like, you know, a bunch of different things. But to be honest, the thing that I keep getting back to is he's just strong. I have to put him below Wonder Woman. Batwoman has to go at five. Iron Man at two. I'm okay at Iron Man at two. Yeah, and Captain America above Iron Man. Yeah. I'm definitely on Captain America's side in Civil War. Absolutely, in the comics, 100%. And now we're going to rank the villains. Sauron. I don't, you know what? We really can't put him super high. As powerful as he is, he's really not a force in Lord of the Rings. He's just this nebulous, you know, character. He's not a character. So, I mean, as interesting as he might be, he has to go like a four. He has to go low. Voldemort. My instinct is to put him above Sauron, but to be honest, he's not an interesting character. He is evil. He's pretty good at being evil. But he's, yeah, he's not much of a threat. Like, I can't really honestly say I'm scared of Voldemort. I'm more afraid of Sauron. Dr. Hannibal. As a villain? No. As, like, a super creepy, like, horror kind of thing, he's pretty high. Yeah. I'll put him in three... Thanos, Thanos is always my number one. Teabag from Prison Break. That's an interesting one. That's hilarious because he's only really a villain in like what? The first season of Prison Break? Hilarious. Dexter as a villain. I don't know if he's a villain. I think we have to put him dead last because he's actually really like an anti-hero in the... I mean, he's really portrayed as an anti-hero. Yeah. So we have to put him last. Voldemort at four. Yeah, screw him. Anton Chu. As a villain, he's kind of creepy, 
but I don't know. He, I don't think he ranks very high. I think three is the correct spot. I don't know who Joe Goldberg is. Who is Joe Goldberg? I do not know. So he's got to go at two. And then Freddy Krueger, number one. You know what? That's on brand for uh, Halloween. I'm okay with that. We'll do one more villain. Vecna. Ooh. Not. Not the Dungeons and Dragons. Vecna. But these Stranger Things Vecna. Stranger Things Vecna. I don't love how they made him the end all and be all of the Stranger Things universe. That was a little bit of a mistake for me. I don't love it. So I can't put him at number one. If it was Dungeons and Dragons, he would be a strong one. I think three, I still don't understand why they get placed here. I think it's like the averages where most other people put them. I don't like it, but I think he, he should be a little bit higher. He should be number two. Thanos is always number one. Again, I, for me, Thanos is comic book Thanos. Movie Thanos is less interesting. Dexter's at five for reasons we've said. Joffrey Baratheon, definitely you hate him. You love to hate him. I don't know if he's a good villain, though. He's kind of just, he's kind of childish. He's made, I mean, three and four. He could be it either. He could easily be it either. I'm going to put him in four. And then Darth Vader, yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Vecna and Vader could switch. But you know what? Vader redeems himself in the end, so I'm actually okay with that. I'm actually okay with this list. This is pretty good. We've got one more, and it is blind ranking fictional creatures. King Kong. I think this is from the more recent standalone King Kong movie. I thought he was kind of a loser in that. I thought he was, yeah, he was like way smaller. I don't, yeah, that guy does not beat up Godzilla. I was never a big deal with the uh, King Kong movies. Four seems low. But you know what? I'm okay with four. Predator. Yeah. I, I'd say Predator beats up King Kong. Doesn't actually beat him up. Oh, you know what? No. Predator could beat up King Kong. He's got nukes. He's got bombs. He's got lasers. Yeah. King Kong's just big. He's a big, big monkey. Predator from original Predator. Man. Yeah. What a great movie. But we're just thinking about the creature. I'd put him at number two. I'd put him at two. The Demogorgon. He's got, I mean, again, from Stranger Things and not Dungeons and Dragons, he's got to go below. He's, he's, yeah, Xenomorphs. I was wondering if this was going to come up. For me, who is stronger, Predator and Xenomorphs? I would have to say Xenomorphs beat up Predator. I think they do. I think they're a little they're definitely scarier. They're way scarier. I would I would happily face off against a predator versus a xenomorph. Absolutely. So they've gotta be number one. And White Walkers from Game of Thrones, they deserve to be dead last. These guys suck. They're terrible. They suck. They are a terrible interpretation of the others from A Song of Ice and Fire. I don't like them at all. I think their their design is super crappy. They're super boring. I don't like them at all. They should be dead last. We'll do one more of these. Kaiju from Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim is like my favorite movie of all time. Kaiju goes straight up. And then you know what? Comparing the Kaiju from Pacific Rim to King Kong, both big book giant monsters, King Kong has to go dead last. Horseman from Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> Loser. White Walkers. Extra loser. The Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. You know what? I'm, out. I'm okay with these. These are the only two that matters. Kaiju from Pacific Rim and the Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. Those are the only two that matter. And they are in the correct spot. Nazgul might technically be a little bit cooler than Kaiju.
Kaiju. But the Pacific Rim connection is so good. Yeah, I like that. These are both like tied. These are both really good. Alright, I hope you enjoyed.